Thank you very much, everybody, and welcome to the newest episode of Tulsa Little Jam. Give me a little jam. Yeah, that's what you're here for. Thank you very much. Once again, Tulsa Little Jam is a uh, getting to be old now with this third episode here. Tulsa Little Jam is a wonderful nonprofit show designed to showcase the wonderful musical talents of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And all benefits, all proceeds, sorry, of uh, the episodes and tapings of Tulsa Little Jam go to support after school music programs for the youth of Tulsa. Uh, we can't have this kind of music. What was it? without them being influenced at an early age. Imagine this specimen here at the age of eight with a beard, <laughs> first learning how to play the bass. That sounds about right. That's a bass, right? Anyway, uh, so thank you very much, guys, once again for coming out here, and thank you very much to our, our latest act, Roots of Thought. Let's give it up for Roots of Thought, everybody.
Thank you. This episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you in part by... Uh, Roots of Thought, everybody. Roots of Thought. Thank you very much for being here with me. I got, uh, we have, of course, uh, Logan Meldrum here and Tasman West. You guys uh, actually have been doing this for, since you were like, what, like 17 or something like that? Yep. The band started in high school. That's so, yeah. So it was the garage band, the typical garage band story, right? That's right. Except not typical music, because you guys are, I mean, it was a pretty, I don't know, it's like a very entrancing kind of sound. How did you guys, like, discover the sound? Um, I think uh, a lot of us were brought up on the sort of, uh, you know, psychedelic classic rock and Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and things like that mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know we, we just we wanted to do that and we listened to some new stuff too and that's how we got our sound yeah it's a sound that changes over time you know it started very garage rocky psychedelic-y and now it's just kind of less garagey and more shaped and formed you know but it's you know more or less the same. I mean, it's like any like any artist, you know, your 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 art is going to be ever evolving. That's right. Yeah. Based on your experiences and your age and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's a really great story about um, uh, uh, so good. I don't even know the story. <laughs> Such a good story. So good. I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> there. Oh, so there's the amazing you know story of Joni Mitchell. Joni, not that I'm comparing you guys to Joni Mitchell at all. Please stop. Um, <laughs> Joni Mitchell, you know, when she recorded both sides now, and then I believe in the audience, if you know the answer, you can correct me, but 25 years later, I think, she re-recorded it. And you hear the, the it, it, it's the same exact lyrics, same exact, but the performance of it, you know, and the re-recording of it, mm -hmm. Having been young at first, and then doing it again with the experience of age and time, so it's and like she bottled it and then aged it, and then it became a totally, it totally different song. You yeah. know, so yeah. even the same music can evolve and become mm -hmm. like an entirely different experience over time. Yeah. Do you feel like because you guys have been together for almost a decade? So how how is that has that changed? Has oh, that yeah. feeling changed with you guys? Yeah, yeah, for sure. We, I mean, a lot of us in the band, we kind of learned how to play our instrument at the same time that we um, were learning how to be a band. So we experimented with a lot of different sounds. And um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> the best delivery ever. Yeah, huh? Tasman, would you like to take over for that? I don't, what was the question again? I don't remember, actually. Moving on. This episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you in part by... Yeah. 
you on the other side After we lose our minds I'll meet you on the other side And you'll be mine again We were so cool, played by our own rules We were nobody's fools Made love on the playground, fell in love on the downtown This episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you in part by... Audience questions! Any audience questions? <laughs> yes? Oh, this is a good story. So, legend tells it that... I wasn't in the band at this time, so legend goes that they were in a car, and they hadn't had a band name yet, and they thought, okay, at the end of this car ride, we will have our band name, no matter what it is. And they had gone through... A whole list of names through the car ride. I don't know how long. Let's just say that it was 30-minute car ride. Millions. Yeah. And one of my favorite ones that I always talk about that would could have been our band name was Purple Pistols. And I was like, man, you guys missed an opportunity there <laughs> of being the Purple Pistols. So I, I joined the band. After the car ride, they had come up with Roots of Thought. And uh, that I thought that was a perfect fit. Uh, once I had joined, because I was writing poetry and studying psychology and philosophy and I was like yes roots of thought makes perfect sense so uh, I just went along with it so yeah I was cool with that but they came up with it had nothing to do with me so um, we're gonna we're gonna play a well you know I was gonna play a little game with you do a little uh, Rorschach test thing but the more I think about it the more I have to get to this so over time you guys have been together for a decade and oh we my have this God. amazing <laughs> photograph that I coincidentally found on oh Facebook no. today I find it moving I find it touching and just slightly romantic uh, so I'd like to know exactly <laughs> what is happening in this picture so Okay. I'm going to wait once again the obligatory pass around because the entire audience has to experience this travesty. Okay, so the beautiful story behind this. Um, I'm just, 
I'm just sitting on a ledge looking longingly at Taz. I'm so I'm so happy that this What's surfaced so on Facebook once again somehow and then has come to the world. There's an even you know what I'm not even gonna say it. I'm just gonna say this one, yeah, it's bad. Anyways, no, it's great. Uh, so one of our friends, she did a band photo shoot for us and the photos turned out great, but she took a liking to Logan and I and she was like, I want to do an androgynous shoot with the two of you. And we were like, yeah, sure, why not? You know, oh, it's, so it's it's specifically pro- set out to make it. Yeah, it was, it was an art project for her that she wanted to do for her Instagram and for her collage and stuff like that. And so we're like, cool, we show up. I literally spent so much time in my girlfriend's closet just pulling her clothes because I was like, androgynous. Okay, let me Google what the word means, first of all. Second, <laughs> let, me, let me figure out what clothes I can wear. And so I grabbed a bunch of her clothes. We showed up to the photo shoot. And then our friend, she, she goes, okay, those clothes are good, but like... What do you think about these mesh shirts? It was like 30 degrees outside. It was freezing too. outside. And anyway, she was like, what do you think about these mesh shirts? And we were like, mm, okay, yeah, sure. Well, let's give it a go. You should have seen the staff's face, first of all. Because <laughs> that shirt that I'm wearing, you can't see, but it goes down to my ankles. It's basically a mesh cape. That you <laughs> there, ha- there has to be a full length shot. So, and I'm all about like experience and trying new things. And I don't usually turn things down if I can have fun with it. And so that's what we did. We had fun. And uh, I mean, unfortunately, we have friends that don't see it as artistic. And they will, ta- <laughs> they will take that and exploit it in any way that they can. Basically like the Dane Arnold baby face thing. Um, <laughs> so if you choose to live in the limelight, you know, things are going to surface up. And they're going to put you on blast. And... Uh, Either way, I, st- I, I wouldn't take it back. I still had fun wearing that mesh shirt. It was freezing, but uh, yeah. Well, I would like to know though what what did that uh, that photo shoot? It must have inspired a song. <laughs> Not yet, but uh, yeah, mesh shirt. It's on the way, guys. So just stay tuned. Follow us on uh, Spotify and Instagram. You know, Roots of Thought. Look out for mesh shirt song, maybe. <laughs> this episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you in part by. Every thoughts I lay wide awake Eat my dreams away Seep into my reality I'm losing my brain Melt my heart's face This was never a place for me Crystal eyes and still can't see my questions go unanswered mostly am I have full or empty still I wonder about something I should have said someone I should have been maybe I should have said those times I just up and left you say it'll be okay I can't seem to forget it's always something that you'd have said, someone that should have been. I should have had some for self, jaded ways in a clouded mind. I was left while you were I. My life flickers like a candle. that place where time was irrelevant when I could reach out and hold your hand cause cold is something I understand that old familiar feeling something I should have said someone I should have been Maybe you should have said there's something just up in there You say it'll be okay, I can't seem to forget It's always something I should have said, someone I should have been
Logan Meldrum, ladies and gentlemen. And Jason Bauer on the keys. This episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you in part by. So tell me, tell me what's next though for Roots of Thought. I'm I'm curious as you continue to progress and stuff like that. What what do you what's next for you in the next five years? Um, we've been we've been doing a lot of writing, um, and we have a few songs that we want to package up and deliver to you guys. So as the Winter months come, I think we'll go into hibernation and work on that. In your mesh shirts. In our mesh shirts. In our mesh shirts, shirts yeah. yeah. But Wouldn't do it without them. Yeah, I mean, they're the warmest thing. We learned it the hard way. Tell me a little bit about the scene, the Tulsa scene. How, how does that influence you guys? A lot, because it's, it's like a community. So, I mean, like everyone was saying earlier, you, you just have so many people who studied and worked hard to hone their craft. And now you can just form relationships with those people, play music with them, and help each other out. It doesn't feel like, not that I've been to L.A., but I've heard stories. It doesn't feel like a competition here. It just feels like everybody help everybody get to the highest platform that you can. And then when you get that platform, use it for good things. So, I mean, that's why we like Tulsa Little Jam so much. Because right off the bat, you guys are immediately trying to give back to the community. And I think that's exactly what Roots of Thought, that's one of our goals as we grow as a band is to give back. Because, I mean, right. we've only ever had support from our family, friends, and fans. So that's what Tulsa Community is all about. So, yeah. Plus, one thing that's pretty cool is that if you're sort of starving for some inspiration or if you're feeling like if you want to write something but it's kind of lackluster or whatever, you can literally just go anywhere downtown and be inspired by all these super cool bands. I don't know if I'm allowed to cuss on here, so. Yeah, there's there's just a lot of talent, and it, it's nice to just be able to walk out the door down the street and be, like, in awe of mm -hmm. somebody that's, you know, trying to do the same thing as me. And I mean, t tonight alone, um, oh, we, man. tonight alone, right oh, across yeah. the street, we have a whole bunch of yeah, amazing Latin music going on at the same time in the yeah. Guthrie Green. We had the tiny... Uh, the t uh, tiny porch, no, tiny porch, festival. yeah, tiny yeah. porch festival with a yeah. whole bunch of bands as well, and yeah, had a bunch of friends play that. Yeah, it's an amazing scene and yeah. stuff. And I that's think usually like seven nights a week. I mean, the weekends blow up for sure, but like most people are like, oh, you know, nothing's going on in the weekday. I probably won't get out. I'll just watch some Netflix. But here in Tulsa, like seven nights a week, go somewhere and you'll you'll find some music that you like. So you say that, but I know you've binge watched Ozark already. I don't want to talk about see? that. See? You see? No comment. We have time for Netflix. And <laughs> I can't plug Netflix, sorry. 
Unless they put us on it's the it's network. That'd be great. Um, so Not a sponsor. talk to me about touring and stuff. Like, How, how far out have you guys gone? Uh, we've gone all the way up to Chicago. Mm-hmm. We've gone all the way down to Austin. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so we just need to go knock out the coast. We've done the longitude <laughs> thing. You know? Yeah, we, just we, want, we yeah, want to do yeah, the yeah, latitude We've done the Midwest, <laughs> and so now we want to, I don't know, California is just so far away, especially with like the cities in between. It's just probably want to go to the East Coast next and just go see what's up with all those cities because you could just boom, 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 boom because it's all so close together. But uh, that is actually indeed true. Yeah. As a New Yorker myself, it's, yeah. it's I can tell you that there's so, a gazillion different places. Yeah, and we have we have more plans to hit the road. Like Logan was saying earlier, we want to go into the studio, record some songs, get some videos prepared, uh, repackage ourselves, and then we'll we'll see everybody on the road in probably 2019. Probably, I don't know. I think the plan is probably <laughs> to like tour. summer 2019. So yeah, touring's a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to it again. So yeah. Any? Are you sure you don't have any audience questions? Any audience questions? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, Frank Zappa is his dad. <laughs> <laughs> his his mustache is my mustache's dad. Um, <laughs> no, uh, a lot of old and new. I mean, there's just so much. I mean, uh, Hendrix, Zappa. That's actually my friend's amp, and of mm-hmm. course, he gives me the one that I think he was trying to sabotage me. <laughs> gives me the one that broke, but. Yeah, so uh, Hendrix, I like Tame Impala a lot. They're new. Um, mm-hmm. Glass Animals, they're new. Alt-J, they're kind of doing some weird things now, but yeah. when they first came out, I really liked that. It influenced me a whole lot. Yeah. Um, I've done some things in college with classical and stuff like that. that I, I didn't know where me. that was going for a second. Yeah, influ- I've done some things, <laughs> I've done some things and I've in seen college. Some, and I've seen I'm some not stuff. proud of it. No, but yeah, so just a lot of different things. Um, yeah. And, and what, one of my two favorites is, I don't know, probably a lot of people's favorites, but uh, the Beatles and the Doors. So yeah. um, the love that the Beatles preach and then just like the evolution that they went through. So you, you can enjoy the boy band version or the psychedelic version. And then, of course, um, Jim Morrison and it, all of his wild weirdness. But uh, I, I just like the poetry and that wild and weirdness that goes into it. So, yeah. yeah. Anybody else? Thank you. Good question. All right. Uh, uh, on a whim, we're going to play word association. What is that? Word association? I say a word. It's like he goes milk. What's a word? No, I meant like, what's a word? Pony. Okay. Riding. A little horse. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Did we just make a sentence? (laughs) We did. Pony riding a little horse. Yeah. We just made a pony riding riding a little little horse. I got a little ISJ going on. Cool. Yeah, this this episode is gonna be priceless. I want to do another one. Let's do it. Come on. No, okay, another. One. Give me a word. Ice cream. Ice cream. Uh, I don't, pistachio. Soy milk. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, give me a word. Piano. Piano. Uh, well, music came to mind. Not very. Uh, butter lovely. toast. Uh, butter toast. Mamajama. Okay. <laughs> right. We did our best. Well, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Everyone got to see the photo. We feel very close to you now, and we know how close yeah, you guys are to each other. Yeah, thanks for looking at that, guys. <laughs> so uh, where, where should we follow Roots of Thought? Uh, Spotify, Instagram, Facebook. Wh- wherever you have your favorite platform, we're probably on there. So, Facebook.com slash Roots of Thought. Mm-hmm. At Roots of Thought on Instagram. Mm-hmm. We have a website, Roots of Thought.com. And yeah, just Google us. You know, we're there. I really want to thank you guys for doing this because you guys have been. The, I mean, we, I've obviously I've I've spoken with and, and with these guys before um, mm-hmm. a few times already, and I've I've always been very inspired by their. They have a very good warmth to them as well, um, and they they make me laugh a lot too. So um, they're just they're really good guys making good music, and I think they're an example of of the great scene that's going on here, and how the rest of the country uh, needs to hear more of it which is what we're about the feeling is mutual man thank you you for having us you yes 
Yeah, thank you awesome. guys. <laughs> thank you. It's an honor for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you uh, once again to the Woody Guthrie Center for having us here tonight. And I accidentally touched your leg. I didn't want you to. That's for later. I thought you were making a um, move. So <laughs> you saw the <laughs> photo. I was, I was ready. You you the photos. I yes. was ready. <laughs> thank you very much to the Woody Guthrie Center for hosting this event. Thank you very much to our studio audience, if you will, for being out here as well. Thank uh, you, continue following Tulsa Little Jam on Facebook or TulsaLittleJam.com. Uh, thank you very much for everything, guys, and uh, thanks to Roots of Thought, and we'll see you on the next one. Woo!